So here's our new AR Doodle feature, which is a really fun and expressive way of creating new content. So when I'm recording a video, I can draw on top of it with my S Pen like this. So I can draw a crown, for example. And then when I move around with the latest AR technology, it will also follow uh, me as I move too. In Europe, the S Pen's always been the number one reason why people are buying the Note device, as well as the fact that it's got a large display and powerful performance. But for the first time with the Note 10, we're actually offering it in two different sizes. So we also recognize that for some people, they really want the S Pen functionality, but in a more compact form factor. So I think that will also broaden the appeal and people will be really excited by that. Um, and then by pressing the button once, you also take a picture. We're seeing really high usage with the pen on the note devices. It's really great for productivity because it allows you to take notes or illustrate as well through Samsung Notes. Um, but we also, since the Note 9, we introduced uh, a different actions as well. So you have air actions now with the Note 10. So you can interact with the device in a completely different way. I think when we look at our lineup, we're always making sure that we have products that meet consumers' needs at different price points. So we have different options through the A series and the S series and the Note, and, and really broadening the appeal for different users. The Note 10, for example, we're offering in two different sizes, so that's also expanding the appeal. It is my great pleasure to present the all-new Galaxy Note 9. Every new device offers something new, and the innovation in mobile phones hasn't stopped. What's happened is that it's harder for people to notice it because phones tend to look the same as the ones from a year ago, from two years ago. And also people uh, receive you know, software updates on their devices. So as a result, they see less innovation in the new devices, less obvious innovation, um, and then tend to stick to their own devices for longer. The premium market in the developed markets has been slowing for, long, for some time now. Uh, and the key reason is that there are no new users to attract to the market and the current users of premium phones stick to their devices for longer and longer. And there are two main reasons for that. One is the slowdown of this perceived innovation. Again, innovation hasn't stopped, but the perception of innovation uh, is a different thing and people don't see the obvious innovation. So they don't see a good reason to switch the phone as often as they used to in the past. And the other reason is the price. So the prices of the premium devices have been going up and up for the last two years. And that suppresses the market additionally.